What's up guys, it's the Back of the iPhone King. Today is the first edition of the Acer Iconia ROM review. Today we're going to be reviewing Tabonet version 1.1 available from the XDA developers website. The link is in the description. So what can I tell you about Tabonet? It's quick. It's pretty stable. And the Wi-Fi isn't all buggy. Now, let's go ahead, take a look at about tablet. We're looking at 3.1, kernel version 2.6.36.3, and build number Tabernay 1.1, and that is 4.010 COM Gen 1. So in our settings, we have the standard wireless and networks, the standard sound, we have Dolby Mobile. Under screen we have brightness, animation, and timeout. Location and security, as you can see it does not include a GPS. Applications is your standard uh, thing, so is that. Everything else in there is going to be pretty standard. Um, this ROM doesn't come with a lot of the Acer or even Asus or any of the other devices applications on it. What it does include, and there will be a description link down below to get here, is here is the page where you download tab and a from you will see this online kitchen it's going to take you here and then under kitchen you have this really easy to use interface to add those apps and boot animations and extra stuff that you might want in your ROM. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to name it. We're going to call this Tabo Pimp. And then we're going to come down here under apps, and let's say we wanted to have the Toshiba Media Player. And say we also want the Samsung Memo. Okay, so we've picked those two from there. Then we're going to go into the boot animations. And we're going to go with this. And under games, we're going to go ahead and get solitaire. And backgammon. So once you've done that you just tap create update as you can see the green bar is doing something and then it creates File created, download link, tap that, download it. You're going to move that to the external SD card and flash it with clockwork, and that's going to add what you want to this ROM. So, as you can see, it's downloading now. So while that's going, let's take a look at the rest of the ROM 
It does include Movie Studio. All the updated app, all the main apps are updated. It's got resizable widgets. This is 3.1. The one thing that no ROM can seem to get is live wallpaper fix. For instance, if I go to Blue Skies and I set that wallpaper, see the lag? Now, I've mentioned this before in some of my other honeycomb videos, and I got responses like, oh, yeah, my Zoom or, or my Galaxy Tab or my Transformer doesn't do that. You know, it's not a honeycomb thing. I say bullshit. It's a wallpaper thing. The more intensive the wallpaper, the worse lag you're going to get. Like, for instance, Starlight Wallpaper, the one I was just running before that one. You can see it's fast. But you only have the clouds moving. And they're single picture. You have the shooting stars. So it's not as intense as Blue Skies was, and that's why it works. So play around with your live wallpapers. And as far, I mean, with honeycomb ROMs, there's really not a lot to differentiate them too much unless you go into the custom interface one like uh, the Galaxy Tab, which has got the, the TouchWiz UX on it. This will support PS3 controllers and... Let's just take a look at what this ROM does have. It's rooted, Deodexed, BusyBox, Bash, Nano, CPU frequency and governor based on screen state. It's optimized PNG and zip aligned apps. That's going to help reduce the size and memory usage. The Cisro and Sys write, Read Write, Insecure Boot. They removed some Acer apps. Kernel Tweaks. Optimized low mem killer settings, mount ext4 tweaks, modded host files for ads filter. They've added Polaris Office, NTFS support with driver mount, HSF support with custom kernel. Your Dalvik is optimized. You get some internet tweaks. The DRM service is disabled. Optimized Acer wallpaper from Launcher 2. Updated apps, ES File Explorer, the Motorola boot animation, Wi-Fi channel 12 and 13, and ad hoc support. This is compatible with the 3G Huawei dongle. This is including the last module from Thor 202RO. Google Music updated, Asus weather widget, Samsung dual clock widget, and the Wi-Fi fix from Acer. They've removed about Acer, Acer Clock Widget, Acer Netus, Acer One Time Init, Acer Registration, Acer Sync, Acer Sync Helper, App and App, Docs to Go, Hero of Sparta, Let's Golf, Luma Read, Need for Speed, Tegra Zone, Top Games, and XT9 and Zinio. The link down below will give you the link to this page which will give you a link to how to install which is pretty much going to be a link to how to how to flash custom ROMs we do have a few screenshots here there's the download neither of these you want to hit the download link here to get the full ROM this is just patches to bring your older version up to date. Then you've got add-ons. You can get the custom kernel. This is also where you find the link to the online kitchen. You will have to register 
with the online kitchen to use it, but it's free and didn't take very long. And our update is almost downloaded. This is Dolphin Pad Beta. Dolphin for Pad. As you can see, all the sidebars are much more optimized. Everything is made to look better than it did when you used Dolphin Browser by itself. I have noticed that the apps, the add-ons, like the RSS, don't seem to interact with Dolphin. So, that's kind of a bum. As you can see, it pretty much, this add-on must be used with Dolphin Browser. So, Another thing, uh, while I got you here, you might want to check out the market for the Wiz widgets. That's my G Reader. It's my Facebook. It's my Twitter. Dual touch there. And also from the same guy is Wiz Bar, which gives you a dock bar. Let's go ahead and give you a quick demo on that. Go into the app, hit add, then pick something, and then pick from that. We're going to pick the calculator. We're going to pick the calendar. And then we're going to hit apply. I'm going to back out of there. And right down in the middle of your bar down here, you tap that and you get that. So those are a couple of very nice widgets that you can get for your honeycomb. And another really cool thing about the Tabernay 1.1 is the inclusion of an app called Drive Mount. As you can see, I have a 250 gigabyte hard drive USB into the side of this Acer Iconia. I'm going to open up Drive Mount. It gets super user. And then I'm going to attempt to mount all and we have mounted so now we're going to come back out to our file explorer yes we're going to back once to the home and this is where all your external stuff is going to be you got your SD card, your external SD card and the SDA1 that just as you can see this is all my stuff from my career of doing the tech thing so that is a really cool feature so then we're gonna go ahead and drive mount and we're gonna unmount all it's gone and after that you should see on your mount that that item is gone. So go ahead and pick up this ROM because although not much different from your stock ROM it does have some really cool features added in like the drive mount and the internet tweaks not to mention the online kitchen. This has been the Backable iPhone King Go ahead and check out this ROM and a word of warning in my other video for Iconia Root that will only work on a 3.0.1 ROM 
Most of you have probably gotten the update who didn't root. So, in the description of this video, I will put a link to the root tool for the 3.1. Thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And keep your eyes out for my Evo 3D videos. Peace.